Hey Aries, welcome to your monthly love prediction reading for the month of October. This is Chelsea and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate your love and support. Aries, please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. Time is fluid. This reading could resonate with you in the past, currently, or in the future, okay? Now Aries, let's find out what are your love messages for the remaining month of October. This is a Celtic cross spread, okay, Aries? Spirits and angels, please show me accurate love messages for Aries for the month of October, year 2020. Show me more. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Aries. Okay, rules can be reversed in this reading. It could either be you or the other person you're thinking about or dealing with, okay? I've got these decks here to actually clarify the rest of the cards. And um, Aries, this is a monthly love reading, so it's not the same um, like your almost love, uh, almost daily love reading because this I'm using a Celtic cross spread instead. So at the end of this reading, I'll tell you what is the most likely outcome, okay, the prediction for your the month of October and love, okay? Okay, bottom of the deck is release your X. Okay, so let's take a look. That's the oracles, romance angels. So for the monthly reading, usually I it's a little bit more extensive, possibly longer reading compared to your uh, almost daily love reading, okay? I'm a little bit late. I think today is the 5th of October, so I usually do your monthly reading on the 1st or the 2nd. But anyway, hope you don't mind. Aries, let's get straight to your reading. Two of Pentacles is right here, possibly in the past. You know, maybe you were juggling two person or your person who was juggling two other person. But this could also mean um, weighing pros and cons, unsure, feeling uncertain about a certain love situation you were in, okay? Let's see. You are right here, Aries. So this is your energy. I feel like there's something that someone is very sorry about, okay? Because the page of... Uh, cups to me is an apology card about possibly someone was juggling somebody here whether it's you or the other person so this is sitting in your past right and the emperor is right here it's an upright position though it could mean a decisiv decisiveness a decision that you are that you were making in the past to apologize to a certain person whether it's you apologizing to this person or this person apologizing to you, okay? Again, those can be reversed. So we've got the... Something happened already in the past here. Yeah, I definitely can see. Uh, for most of you, it could have been just, you know, a person, just somebody here juggling two person, and somebody sorry that they did that, okay? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is sitting in your current situation, okay? Now pentacles in re reverse. I feel like because the nine of pentacles is actually, if it's in upright position, is actually, uh, it means singlehood. Uh, it means taking care of one's, you know, oneself, <laughs> as in taking care of yourself, self care, um, getting your stuff together. But it's in reverse here. Okay, maybe something about stability uh, for some of you this could be something to do with your finances as well okay not for all of you but something to do with finances financial uh, independence that i feel that something has happened here in the past maybe you're depending on someone financially 
for some of you only okay i'm just getting this message separately but let's see mm -hmm. so aries this could either be you or the other person okay nine of pentacles in reverse to me also it can be a codependency card someone whom is um whom is dependent i'm sensing someone who cannot not be in a relationship you know not everybody does well in not being in a relationship some people always constantly have to be in a relationship whether it's good or bad as long as they have somebody there you know they're good um whether the person is suitable for them or not whether if there is a future whether you know wherever the case is there are a lot of people out. i'm not saying that it's you maybe it's the other person okay someone here you know has difficulties in actually being single okay i just maybe it's this other person maybe this other person was you know codependent on you um i don't know why i'm just sensing that energy right and the knight of swords in reverse so aries it looks like uh in your love department there is a no-go when it comes to somebody here in the past here okay whether it's you or them six of pentacles is uh sorry six of wands a uh, sword oh my god six of cups in reverse i do this every single day how can i get this how can i get it wrong okay six of cups is the reverse so it looks like somebody is not looking back into the past very fondly or it could also indicate someone stuck in the past okay something happened here in the past aries maybe um knight of swords now it's in reverse maybe there were some harsh words being exchanged between you two um some anger but now it's in reverse so i feel like it has mellowed down um but Definitely, there is an energy of not wanting to revisit the past or stuck in the past, okay? But not with good memories, okay? I feel like stuck in the past of words that have been exchanged. Um, maybe there were harsh words being exchanged and also maybe the Two of Pentacles, maybe somebody uh, was dealing with another person. Seven of Cups is in reverse. So Aries, everything is currently i feel like everything is being made very clear now you know where your where your love uh, relationship is at i'm sensing this is again somebody from your past only because of the six of cups here in reverse so something in the past that i felt like maybe it was not it was not clear there, there was a lot of confusion okay um i feel like somebody is no longer confused and a choice is being made here okay and the choice is actually to release your ex. This is your oracle card, uh, Romance Angel. So it's telling you to actually release your ex, which I feel like you are releasing your ex, okay? One of your exes, I guess, because there's two of pentacles here. Looks like somebody was juggling somebody in the past. So, But I feel like one of your exes you are releasing, at least one, if not all. <laughs> A choice has been made to actually release your ex, okay? And true love is right here. I'll get to that in a moment, okay? But uh, we've got the seven of wands here, Aries. So I feel like this. these are your thoughts. I feel like you're thinking right now. I, I just feel like you're very protective of yourself, of your heart. Maybe you're not allowing anybody to come into your life right now, Aries. Um, I'm not saying it's definitely a no no like okay no one can come into my life but i just feel like you have set your boundaries you now i mean you have set your boundaries and you're standing your ground you have your principles and you know what you want now in terms of love or you know what you don't want anymore so that this is a very defensive energy but also you could just be protecting yourself from getting hurt again or hurting another person okay Let's see. Okay, you got the seven of wands uh, clarified by the eight of cups in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse. Aries, what I'm sensing here is that eight of cups in reverse. Again, I feel like there are a lot of emotions in the past that someone here still can't get over. Okay. Um, at one point, I do see. To me, it's a juggle juggling act again because you've got the two of pentacles you can't help but see these two as also a juggling act you know it's almost like should i should i should i let go or should i hold on to it should i hold on to somebody in the past or should i let it go completely 
Maybe you have your on and off times. Maybe there's, there are times, there are days where you feel like maybe you can fight for this connection. Maybe you want to reach out to this person from your past or vice versa. And on another day, maybe you feel like, you know what, maybe I should not fight for it. Maybe I should just let go of it. Right? Because maybe you... For one of these relationships in the past, because again, I can see two here, right? Maybe one of it is actually your true love, that you feel like this person could have loved you um, genuinely, or that you could have loved them genuinely, okay? They could have loved you, or you could, again, go vice versa, right? But, so this was actually saying, this is the romance of a lifetime. So Aries, you know, this true love here, I feel like this is the reason why it is so hard for one person here to let go and to move on from the past here because they feel like they are never going to meet you or somebody like you ever again or vice versa. Maybe you think that you'll never ever meet somebody like this again because a lot of people don't understand what true love is and maybe one of the persons, one of the people here you were dealing with um, could have been, you know, only now upon realizing that this is actually your true love. However, something has happened here in the past, right? But the seven of wands, it could also be defensiveness as in maybe this person, maybe you don't want to let this person back in because of whatever that's happened in the past or vice versa. So we've got the Two of Cups here, the sitting in the blockage position. So Aries, so I see, again, there is a separation between you two. And there's the Ten of Pentacles, it's also in reverse. So losing the stability, losing the love, and losing the love that could have been a, the love of a lifetime, could have been very stable, could have gone all the way towards the end, happily ever after. Okay, I know it's similar, it's better than the Ten of Cups anyways, the Ten of Pentacles, especially with the True Love card here. I feel like someone here is possibly regretting over uh, or very apologetic about what had happened in the past. Maybe they were juggling, again, juggling another person. I do see it could have been a third party situation. So the problem could be another relationship that has started, okay, with the Two of Cups here. There's a blockage here. Maybe another relationship is blocking your relationship from, from uh, flourishing. Okay, not all ones. Okay, <laughs> you see this card? This could be you, this could be another person, but there's a player here. Okay, definitely a player here, someone who was juggling another person. But I feel like there are a lot of regrets. Definitely, someone is realizing that one of these two person is actually their true love. The only person that you know, they could ever, um, it's like once in a lifetime kind of thing, may, this person may not, you may never meet this person again, or they feel like they will, they may never meet somebody like you again, who could love them, you know, so unconditionally. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, so someone lost this stability, okay, because of their, because of their player ways, non-committal player ways. Yeah, Aries, I do see that again. Four of Cups in reverse. Someone is regretting big time and seeing this person as a missed opportunity. Okay, maybe you see this person as your missed opportunity or they see you as a missed opportunity because this is the person, the Empress here. This is like someone you can spend the rest of your life with. Someone who could be a mother figure, father figure, or wife, wife material, husband material. If you were not married to this person before, I feel like Someone here is regretting because they lost this person that they could have, you know, had a lot of uh, abundance and, and prosperity with someone who could love them genuinely and care for them genu genuinely. You them or them you? Okay. Page of Pentacles is in reverse. Yeah, lost it. Someone lost it. Someone lost this connection that I feel was so, so amazing that could have been really amazing and they know that you know they will never come across somebody like this ever again page of pentacles in reverse yeah maybe someone is um not taking the offer because maybe an apology comes in and someone is not accepting it okay because they feel like it's not good enough or not sincere because they still can't forget about what happened in the past Someone got played here, right? And that someone played the wrong person. The, the one person who loves them truly, 
you know they play the wrong person you know um if you're playing a player that would be a different case but it looks like someone has played their their one true love in a lifetime right so now there are a lot a lot of regrets high priestess is right here so this is you aries is sitting in your you position pisces energy doesn't really matter don't take any of the signs too literally we all could embody any of it but the high priestess indicates you are just keeping quiet okay and having faith keeping quiet but this could also indicate secrets but uh or in intuition could be praying okay again even though this is you who knows roles can still be reversed let's see yeah so ace of swords right here uh clarity and truth has been revealed so someone here has cut somebody off six of wands maybe this speaks about attention maybe someone is you know starting to date other people okay someone is starting to date other people keeping keeping their options open starting new okay starting a new life and love maybe so we've got also the nine of swords here definitely an indication of someone here is definitely going through a hard time okay crying at night to sleep stressing out depressed anxiety you're hoping you could get over it or this person is hoping they could get over it so a lot of uh, quietness healings going on right now again you got another high priestess again what i'm seeing here is aries in the past something has been revealed right some secrets have been revealed and this has caused a lot of stress anxiety even the ending of of this love connection here someone here is just wanting to heal i do see a healing process going on here and you've got another nine of pentacles in reverse okay someone oh nine of pentacles in reverse to me it also could indicate someone pretending that they were single but actually they were not and the secrets have been revealed with the high priestess in reverse here okay and you've got they're hoping to heal or they're hoping to heal this connection or themselves but the star is in reverse here this is where it's leading to towards the future the month of october okay aries aries i do see you know in the month of october you still be going through a heartbreak okay you're still trying to heal for now i feel like aries you already know yeah for most of you i see you're going through a separation right now with this uh, connection okay someone has decided to let go of it and judgment is right here and also Aries I'm sensing someone here is definitely receiving their karma for the hurt that they have caused to another person that one true love here as the universe is watching right whoever did the cheating and lying to somebody who does not deserve to be treated that way I feel like that person this person is actually facing their karma here okay so four of pentacles in reverse so it's like letting go as well understanding that this is you know this is over it's in a sense that this is the past person because it again could be a third party situation okay stars in reverse finding it hard to heal to forget whatever that has happened in the past year and judgment card also an indication of whatever the secrets were it have been revealed and skeletons in the closet has been found but this also could be an indication of somebody wanting to reconcile but they know they they lose hope in reconciling they don't think they can they don't think they can um, get this person back because of the hurt that they have um, done uh, because they i would say a betrayal okay definitely with the swords here i know i don't see ten of swords but might as well be Someone has stabbed you in your heart or you've stabbed somebody in their heart. I know it's not funny, but anyway, Aries. So where it's leading to? Oh, before that. So you got four pentacles here. So there's a sense of, you know what, letting go. Maybe, you know, this this person will never forgive me. Okay. The sun is uh the stars in reverse. Maybe there's a sense of someone feeling like I should let go because this person is never ever gonna forgive me for what has been 
revealed and what has been done to them. And this person could have loved you or you could have loved this person unconditionally. But they betrayed you, okay, or vice versa. So Four of Pentacles is right here. This is definitely... Um, Mm, one second. Ah, this is the advice portion of it. Aries, I feel like um, I haven't done the Celtic cross spread in a bit, in a while. Last time I did it was last month. <laughs> so still trying to, a little bit rusty because I've been doing your daily love reading instead. So, okay, Aries, so four pentacles here. Um, Aries, Spirit's trying to tell you to To let go, okay, let go of something, which is the Six of Pentacles is in reverse. It's almost like why are you holding on to something or a connection in the past here that was not an equal give and take, okay? But Aries, you have two person here in the past. You know which person is which, okay? But there's one person whom I feel like is your true love, someone who could have loved you unconditionally or you could have loved this person unconditionally. And there's another person, so there are three persons here. One is the true love, and the second person is the, the lion, the cheater, and the player. And the third person, where is the third person? Yeah, the third person is the one who is, um, who has codependency issues, okay? And also someone who could be using you, okay? Someone who is not used to being single, always need, needing a, to be in a relationship, needing to be with somebody, okay? So the third person here, I do see it. Um, so that's one of the person that Spirit is trying to say you need to let go because maybe this person, this person may not have been fair to you as well, okay? Four Pentacles, yeah, why are you holding on to somebody who is not being fair to you? Um, this other person, for some of you Aries, this other person may also be doing the same thing as you did. You know, lied and cheated, so I definitely see third party. Okay, so we've got the Page of Wands here. Aries, I feel like with the Page, it means message. Spirit is trying to urge you to send a message to someone, extend an olive branch to someone here, okay? Or start new, could mean that as well. Yeah, Five Pentacles is right here. It's like to actually send a message to communicate to this person in the past, the one, your true love here, your one true love to express to them how you really feel for them. Okay, um, Five Pentacles is right here. So it looks like there are a lot of struggles pertaining to this person from your past, whom is your true love. Maybe they feel like you have left them out in the cold or have not treated them fairly or vice versa. Okay, it could go vice versa. But whatever the case is, you know, if this is not you, then maybe the other person will come back into your life and send you a message and wanting it to start a new beginning or just wanting to make peace. Okay, now Pentacles is in reverse. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn Taurus. So this is why I'm saying there are like three person here because I do see one more person here. There's one, two, three, but um, Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. This is in your most likely outcome position, okay? Let's see. Ah, oh, gosh, Aries. Okay, I don't know where you stand in this in this reading, okay? Whether you are the player or the true love or the one who is like codependent on you or you on them. Again, Aries, what I'm seeing here is there was somebody who was, uh, again, very, uh, the, your true love, the one who was stable, but it's in reverse now. I feel like uh, there's someone here, okay, who is actually the loyal one. I feel like they are walking away, okay? And, um, it's, Ten of Cups in reverse, so it didn't go all the way towards the end. Um, Death card is right here, so it, there is an ending. It's almost imminent as well. This ending, it's like, but it could also mean transformation. However, the Six of Swords in reverse, still, I feel like somebody in the past cannot, will not be getting over you that soon, or you won't be getting over this person 
um, it's almost like the person, the one that got away, you know, the only one that got away. And the Three of Cups is in reverse here. So someone here does not want to reconcile Aries, okay? That one person who is the true love, I feel, is the one, that person who does not want to reconcile, okay? I feel like the past, per uh, that one person who is the player, they want to reconcile, but they don't know how to go about doing that they're just watching okay but the king of wands right here this could be your energy again you or them doesn't really matter we all could have multiple signs in our chart we all do have multiple signs in our chart but you maybe you're also dealing with another uh, aries Sagittarius, or leo like another fire sign Page of Cups. Someone here is very sorry. I do see again. You got two Page of Cups here. So Aries, someone here is very, very extremely sorry for what they did. For have been a player here, okay, and they they lost their true love. Okay, the one that got away was the one who was supposed to who was supposed to be their one true love, and they lost it. They lost this person here. Whether it's you or them, you know where you stand. If you're the player, or you are the one who loves this person truly and never cheated on them, or that, you know, it's the other person whom is codependent. <laughs> All right, Aries. Oh boy, so this is your monthly October uh, reading, year 2020. I do see Aries, um, somebody here from the past is just, the again, the one true love is not going to, to want to reconcile. And that's the Express Your Love card. I forgot about this card. So this card definitely indicates, again, from the advice part of it, um, maybe the one, you know, if nothing else, you know, to this spirit is trying to urge you to just express your love to this person. Maybe, or, or this person will be expressing their love to you, okay? Um, whoever cheated, whoever lied, will be the person who's supposed to express their love to that one true love here, okay? That they have lost. All right, Aries, this is your October love reading. Um, I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. And also, I do only, oh, I don't do only emergency reading. I've added more different uh, options of personal reading. Um, it's all in the description box below if you'd like to book me, if nothing else. Aries, as usual, I post your video almost every single day, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Take care, Aries. Bye.